Because Bob Marley is one of the main reasons why reggae music gets so big, you know. Because a lot of people think Bob Marley, Peter Touch, and Bunny Wheel are gentlemen. Them. I don't know gentlemen. Them. If you know why I go to the history of Jamaica music, I go going at it now. You see, the local music that produced in Jamaica never used to play on the radio station. All right? The radio station used to play Curtis Mayfield, Fats Domino, Lou Ross, and all of those songs. If you notice all the old reggae music then, if I was a carpenter and you were a lady and God did make this big, Little green apples. All of them old great reggae songs that where we grew up on is American song with them sing over. You see, Mr. Dad went to the producers in those days, went to America, buy the father five, and come and say, John Walt sing this, Alton, Dennis Brown, Freddie McGregor. See? Bob Marley and Peter Touch you now are sing hardcore reggae. Jamaica music on the radio station, them not play. So some man from Trenchtown and Bob Marley full up one vehicle and drive, go up to RJR. And then hold one man named Dan Tapping, and then hold one with name Neville Willoughby, and then hold one other man. And them carry them go down to Trenchtown. And say, so see the people, them are suffer there, you know, and they play the music, and who forget conk, get conk. Who forget to slap, get to slap. Who forget two box, get two box. And I saw the music start play upon the radio. Bob Marley make Jamaica music start play upon Jamaica radio because Jamaica radio station never did a play the local music that produced in Jamaica. The only music them used to play from Jamaica was our whole folk songs. P. Lady, John Cross, Sito, Patrita, you know those folk songs? The heritage songs, they used to play that. But they wouldn't play no Bob Marley, they wouldn't play no King's Stitch, no Dennis Brown, no Irai, no, no Eptones, no nobody. Because a boogie yaga music, they used to call it that time. When Bob Marley and, and Peter Touch and Bunny Whaler go up to RJR and JBC and Wall, who them Wall and Kunk, who them for Kunk, it became reggae music, Jamaica music. So, Bob in life and in death. I love your song, you know, Misty Morning, but me love what you do for reggae music. Because you is the backbone of this thing here. If it wasn't for you, this music here wouldn't get so big. See? And even now, you still have some radio station where still now play Jamaica music in a Jamaica. You understand me? So, Bob Marley in life and in death, you are the best of them. The rest of them are the stress of them, are what left of them. Mm. 